Joining us now in a Closing Bell exclusive interview is Matthew Shea, president and CEO of the National Retail Federation. Matt, it's good to see you. Big yes, upgrade Sarah. to the forecasts. What are you seeing and, and how long will it last? Well, Sarah, I think what we're seeing and what we're hearing from the CEOs that, that we talk to every week, uh, sometimes every day, uh, some of the same things you're seeing, that the economy is proving to be extraordinarily resilient. And when we made that pretty, pretty optimistic forecast a few months ago, uh, which was a big number even then, there were a number of things that we didn't know. Uh, one, of course, was what would actually happen with regard to additional fiscal stimulus. We saw that happen. Uh, the other was how quickly consumers would begin to resume some pre-pandemic uh, activity. We've seen that really start to happen as the economy opens. And then the third, and I think the thing that really drove much of the economic pullback, really all of it that we saw last year, was, of course, the health environment. And as vaccine distribution has, has really rolled out very, very effectively, you know, not in every case, of course, but overall in the aggregate, it's been very effective. Those are three things we couldn't really predict. And so we've seen great momentum in the economy. And just for context, if you look at March and April retail sales just this spring, each of those two months essentially equaled December holiday season. So we had as much in March and again in April as we did all of last holiday, which itself was a record. So there's huge momentum in the economy right now, and we're seeing that in consumer behavior. Is it a rising tide lifting all boats, Matt? Are there going to be winners and losers here? Well, I, I think that we've seen that, that, that just as failure and challenge is not equally distributed in an environment, we're going to see that success also isn't equally distributed. And we know that the companies that excelled last year have momentum, have that wind in their sails, and they learned how to do things much more efficiently, whether that was managing the supply chain, fulfillment, uh, pick and pack from stores, uh, using forward inventory, investing in their team members and associates, creating new digital channels and relationships with customers when they couldn't get people into stores. So our forecast assumes basically that the off store environment is flat and substantial growth occurs uh, throughout the store environment as we see more stores open. There's lots to gain there. And again, just through the first four months of this year, we've seen the equivalent of 5.5% retail sales growth annually. So if we didn't sell another thing the rest of this year after April 30th, We'd already have five and a half percent baked in. Last year we had six and a half. And that was the best in 20 years. So we've already got the second best annual sales in 20 years, but in four months. So I think there's a lot of momentum. There will be a lot of winners. And the retail industry is healthier than it was as we came out of the last recession. That's why we've seen so many people back to work more quickly and so many businesses doing so well right now. So, so the obvious uh, follow-up question, Matt, is, is how sustainable this all is. I mean, is this something that can, A, last for the whole of this year, but, but B, what, what happens next year? Do you think the consumer's just on a bit of a sugar high at the moment, or, or do you think they really do have uh, the, the long-term sustainable spending power? Well, I think, Wolf, you ask absolutely the right question. And in the CEO conversations I've had, uh, we've, we've got our board of directors coming to town tomorrow, actually physically in person here in Washington. We'll talk to administration and, and congressional leaders about the economy and a number of other issues. Um, but I think there are things that we can't predict for sure. Will there be a second wave? What might happen with the variants? What's going to happen with either overheating in the economy, inflation, or tapering and pullback too soon? So some of those things out of our control. I think the one of the bigger questions is how will consumers resume activity and shift spending from maybe a year ago when it was in goods because that was really the only place to put it and they needed it back to other categories, other segments of the economy, more in the services and experience side. And I think one of the things that we've seen historically and we expect again seeing already is that much of that goes hand in hand. When you take a trip, when you plan a holiday event, when you're doing a family gathering, you're engaged in retail activity too. It's not only travel exclusively or hospitality exclusively. So we think those things are going to continue. And again, I think retailers have gotten much better at engaging with their customers, and they're going to find ways to keep giving them experiences, relevance, value, convenience, take friction out of the uh, sales process, delivery process. I think a lot of that will be sustainable. And with $2.5 trillion, twice the savings rate of even a year ago, which is hard to imagine when there were massive savings, I think that most of our CEOs are saying they see this going through this year and potentially well into 2022. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.